Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to our final assembly of the school term. Well done. You did it. You finally made it to the end of term. And now you've earned a well-earned break and a well-earned rest. Congratulations. Over the last six weeks, we've had the enjoyment of being able to share our assemblies in this way. Now, the very first video we ever did, it showed a picture of me trying to knock down the cup off the crossbar. And then today, I try to continue that. And that's been a little bit like our journey over the last term through school. It's been this challenge to overcome something. And see, it's not been easy. And so, at the end, I picked up the Nerf gun and I, and I, I shot it down. Because we've had to think differently or creatively at how we approach things. And you've did it with school. You've overcome the challenge. See, the most important part was not about knocking the cup down, but it was being willing to give it a go. It was to give it an effort. And you've did that with your schoolwork. You've did that in your school. You've had to think creatively and do things differently. And so now you've earned a really well-earned break. And so the last five or six weeks through our assemblies, we've been teaching a core value of your school. And our final one today is on the value of respect. Now, it'd be easy for me to stand here and teach you for the next three minutes on the word respect. But a long time ago, I came across this video and I use it time and time again because it's done from a young person's viewpoint on what respect looks like and how we should be able to give it. So just watch that video and just have a laugh with some of the things that he comes up with. 20 things we should say more often. Number 20, thank you. And not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19, excuse me. Number 18, here's a surprise corn dog that I bought you because you're my friend. There'll be more corn dogs, the more happy people. This is a good idea. Corn dog for you, corn dog for you, corn dog for you. Number 17, I'm sorry. Number 16, I forgive you. Number 15, you can do it. But don't say it if it's something I can't do. Number 14, another thing that we should say more often. I have barbecue sauce in my shirt too. Before you say something about the barbecue sauce on somebody else's shirt, take a look at the barbecue sauce on your own shirt. Number 13, please. Number 12, everything is going to be okay. Number 11, oh, you got me a corn dog too? You shouldn't have, buddy. Number 10, I don't know. I know a lot of people who need to say that. My sister. <laughs> Number nine, you're so awesome, I named my dog after you. Wait, 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 that could hurt someone's feelings. I mean boat, I named my boat after you. Wait, who even have the boat? You're so awesome, I legally changed my name to yours. Wait, that's super creepy. And, and just tell people they're awesome and mean it. Number eight, hello person that I've never met before, here's a high five. <laughs> Number seven. My sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big man to say that. Number six. Nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you can say. Number five. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything, but it's just really funny. <laughs> Number four. I disagree with you, but I still like you as a person who is a human being and I'll treat you like that because if I didn't, it would make everything bad and that's what lots of people do and it's lame. Whew, I need a water break, y'all. It's okay to disagree, but it's not okay to be mean. Number three, sometimes you just gotta scream. <laughs> Number two, life is tough, but so are you. Sometimes we all need to be reminded to keep going. Number one, something nice, anything. If you can't think of anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough. So what about you? What do you think people should say more often? Leave a comment below and let's hear it. Oh, and I got a bonus one for you. Something that we should say more often? Let's dance. I love the message that the kid president gives. He's just full of wisdom and how he sees the world. And what's amazing is he's probably similar to some of your ages. 
but he gets what it means to live a life full of respect and full of love for one another. In the Bible, there's a time when Jesus' friends come and ask him, Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? And he answers it quite simply. It's to love God with your whole heart, your whole soul, and your whole mind, and to love everyone else the way you would like to be loved. What an amazing message that is, that actually our greatest gift, our greatest commandment by God, is just to love one another. And see, when we look at this word of respect, it can't go without hand in hand without the word love. You see, when we love the world that we live in, when we look after it, when we don't throw our litter on the ground, when we don't write our names on the walls, when we look after its resources and don't overuse it, when we recycle, when we love it, we're showing it respect. Or what about our brothers or sisters or our friends in school? Whenever we choose not to hit them back when we want to, or when we don't call them names, when we decide to love them instead, it shows them respect. Or our teachers, or our parents, or our guardians, when we choose not to talk back, when we give them the respect they deserve, when we say nice things instead of negative things. You see, really, to show respect is to show love. And that's all Jesus wants us to do, is to love one another just the way we want to be loved, to love our world just the way we want to be loved. So when we think about the word respect, let's also remember the word and the command to love, just the way God loves us. Now guys, you've done an amazing job and you've made it till the end of the term. So all I want to send, say now is to send you out with a real encouraging message. Go have fun. You have earned it. And let me just pray for us all now. Dear God, I thank you for watching over us at this time. I thank you for your message of love, that when we love one another, we show the ultimate of respect. Lord, just watch over all of us as we have our summer break. Just keep us safe, protect us, and Lord, let us have lots of well-earned fun, because you delight when we have fun. Every blessing. Amen. Guys, all I've got to say now is just go and have lots of fun and make lots of memories. From me, David, and the rest of the team at St. Mary's, look after yourselves, and we look forward to seeing you face to face in the new term. God bless. Take care. Bye bye.